back, my friends, to another browsing rendition of Choir Boys Cutlery, the BPS Adventurer. I'm going to tell you a lot about it here in a minute. But first, let me just say this. 22 veterans a day in this country take their own lives. Vets, I love you. I, I say all the time, all I can do is raise awareness. Well, we're going to take it a step further. Uh, I believe Sunday is the first... Second. Saturday is the first. We're going to have a video. Megatron and I will announce our raffle. I'm waiting on a package from Keith Carpenter to come in. It's going to raise money uh, for veterans' causes. Vets, I love you. You have a place here. You're welcome here. Don't fight this fight alone. There's links in the description. Uh, if you're struggling, if you're suffering, please don't hesitate to hit those. We back the blue over here. We support Leo. Scott, how in the hell do you do that? We don't break the damn law. I've mentioned we support all Leo, and we do. One of my good friends, Jimmy Nichols, was a corrections or is a corrections officer. Uh, Danny Nettles, a subscriber of this show and a good, good friend, was a corrections officer. There are several guys that were corrections officers, and you guys are certainly included in that. Finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. Hashtag NQQ. It'll take one time. Keep in the fight. Well, guys, listen. This is going to be a longer video. One, because I ramble and don't stay on track. And two, we got a lot of ground to cover. First thing I want to do is this. I, I made comment not too long ago that, that I had to get a BPS knife and actually keep it. Well, my guy Joe from Steel Sword and Fire, Steel Forged and Fire, Sword Enthusiast, Joe over there sent me a package last week and it was this Shrade 36 Frontier Survivalist Series. We're going to do a video on that later today. He also ordered me and had sent, it was supposed to come in at the same time and it, it wasn't because these things are hard to get this BPS Adventurer. So Joe, I've, I've told you in private, man, from the bottom of my heart, dude, thank you so much. I love this. I love BPS. Now I did a, um, a review on one that was not full tank. It broke, but I, I kind of knew from the time I held the knife that it wasn't uh, going to hang in. This thing right here is tough, tough, tough. Let me give you some quick specs on it. I probably should have done that before I started the video, but then, you know, you'd have been like, oh my God, he's prepared. Five and a quarter blade length. You have five and a quarter blade length, about four and three quarter cutting surface. We have, and this is the big one for Old Scabber, a four and a half inch handle. Good room. Now, it's reminiscent, the knife really is reminiscent of a steak knife. But this thing is sharp. Ooh, son, this thing is sharp. I'll do a, a, if you're not following me on Instagram, you need to. I do a lot of little quick cutting videos on there. I've got one coming this afternoon, or when this video is over, I'm going to cut some, uh, do our paper cutting test. This thing is awesome. Now, here's the knife that John donated. He's the one that won our giveaway, and then turned around and says, Scab, put that in the raffle. So here's a comparison of the two. Two different uh, blade styles. You, you really can tell more when they're there. Uh, the adventure is a, a slight bit bigger. Same size handle. Both are the same thickness. Now I think we're looking at about an eighth. Let me see here. Yeah, it's an eighth inch thick. Both knives are great knife. I'm actually I'm gonna do a review on this thing, and then I'm keeping this one, guys. This one, and you say, "Scab, why?" I've given three or four away. Why? Do people really need a knife that bad? No, but people need a gift that bad. And I hate coming on here and saying I did this and that, but I don't want y'all to think, "What's this idiot doing with all his knives?" Or that I just collect them and hoard them. I don't. And I want to say this, I don't typically, if someone gives me a knife, 
this knife will never be given away. I may break it. I may throw it at somebody, but I'll never give it away. Why? It's a gift. Now, and I appreciate it very, very much. Now, thank you again, Joe. And I'll put a link to Joe's channel. We're trying to grow. My goal is to grow everybody in the bin. Why? Well, it's about community. And if we have a big community with a lot of supporters and everybody growing and everybody working, we can get a lot done. Plus, the people that I try to support and shout out, hey, Lulu, that's my girl Lola, are good people. They're solid people. They've taken a stand with us. So, Joe, my brother, thank you again. Now, behind me, Lola's just kind of walking with me. Behind me, you see two packages. This one is from my guy, Jed Hornbeek. This one is from my guy, The Shredder, and his family. And those are two other channels you need to check out, Jed Hornbeek and The Shredder. And if you've watched any of this channel, you know that I love The Shredder. I love them both. They're both my boys. But Ezekiel is The Shredder out there in California, his dad Jonathan, and we got Mama Shredder and the two girls, and they do a fantastic job of not only, and it's not just when it started, I really loved it because it was a father bonding with his son. My son moved away to Alabama when he was about Zeke's age. That's why there's that, I just love that dy dynamic there. As they've gone, They've greatly and vastly improved. One, they, 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 you guys, this knife community has been great in sending them knives, but they've gotten their, their, their reviews are going up in quality much better. And I'm, Jonathan's well-versed, the dad's well-versed in knives. I think Mama Shredder's in the medical field, so she's there to cover any boo-boos. But Zeke's really put in the work. And son, to you from Old Scab, great job, man. Great, great job. I'm a big fan of the shredder. These not, these things are going in the raffle. You say, Scabble, let's see them. I got another guy, Keith Carpenter, and y'all hear me mention y'all hear me mention people like I think you should know him. That's because I think you should know him. Keith's a guy out in uh I think Washington State, either Washington or Oregon, Northern California. He's right there in there. Um uh, and I misspoke. He, I actually sent him one of my cold steel tomahawks or axes for the giveaway, and he did the Viking Age the Wood. Go to Keith Carpenter. Look on his Instagram, Keith Carpenter. You'll know who it is. Keith did do that for me for an axe, but he also is donating a, a special force, a cold steel special forces shovel, and another tomahawk that he has aged, and he's done that Viking look to. Guys, this is going to be a huge giveaway. We'll have the packages behind me, the package when, when Keith, when I get that in, I'll, we're going to do a video Saturday, like I said earlier, Megatron and I will show everything in the raffle, we'll give you the rules to the raffle. Keith hit me up today, he happened to look at his uh, calendar. The raffle will start on Saturday, we'll do a kickoff video, the raffle will end on May 22nd. It's a Saturday. I think the symbolism there speaks for itself. So you'll have three weeks to do that. Now, I know we're covering a lot of stuff. That's kind of what we do. Let's get into something else. What's in your pocket? Scott, you got all the knives on you? I sure do. I got my CQC 8 from Emerson. This thing, this is a, this is my CQC 7 guys. Hardcore work knives. Um, I beat them up, beat them to death. I love having this thing on me. So I'm carrying this. You know that sound. Big Daddy Rabbit, the Medford. Got these two on me today. Now, Whip It Out Wednesday. This one's for Captain Electro. This is my Obaki. We're going to cover this in one second. Where are we at on time? Oh, son, we ain't even at 10 minutes. We got all day. I know y'all can listen to me talk all the time. So I'm carrying those several. And then we got the Bush Ranger, cold steel, because you need that classic looking knife. And then we have 
my Kershaw Emerson. Now I don't do that a lot. I don't carry, like I'll carry a Kershaw Emerson or an Emerson, just an Emerson design usually for a work knife. Rarely do I carry two. Now, got Big Daddy right here, the Formax Scout. Okay. One uh, Uno Momento por favor. Got that nine that Spanish, huh? Speak it up. CQC7. Now, somebody would say, go ridiculous. And it's already been said. Now, listen, I pinned the comment. I don't, it, a lot of stuff gets lost in text, maybe in joke or whatever. Guys, I carry a lot of knives because I like knives. I don't carry a gun because unlike 99% of people, I've actually shot at somebody. Big shocker there. Old Scab ain't been a saint. Thank God in heaven, it didn't hit anybody. Thank you, Lord. I'm here in this kitchen married to who I'm married at today because of the good Lord. You hear me? I should be dead or in prison. And, and a lot, and that's no different than, than, than a lot of people. I don't carry a gun because I have a stupid ass temper. I have an embarrassing temper. I, I see some people, oh, I, got a, I got a temper and smiling. No, dumbass, you got an ego. Somebody will check that temper. I hate my temper. I really do. If it wasn't for the grace of the good Lord of the cosmos or whatever you particularly believe in, old scab wouldn't be here. That's why I don't carry a gun. The other reason is I don't need it. I seen a thing on Facebook, and this, we're about to hit a tangent. I had a, a tantrum. I, had, I seen a thing on Facebook, and some jackass wrote this letter about, you know, he's standing in line, and I should be thankful, and it's some basically ego trip on how he's a concealed carry guy and I should be thankful. Let me tell you something, Stable Mabel. You're probably like most jackasses who when stuff hits, you're going to shoot yourself in the ass and me in the back trying to pull the pistol. Keep it in your pocket. Leave it to the professionals. Do I believe in the Second Amendment? Absolutely I do. Do I have guns? Absolutely. Do I carry them? No. Why? I don't put myself in those spots. I know somebody could randomly walk in and stop, start shooting. I get it. If they're close enough, I'll stab the shit out of them. I'm not getting in a gunfight. Okay? And, and, and this ain't even, we're not even going down this road. Let me stop it right there. I'm not against concealed carry. But if you conceal carry, let me tell you something. And I will say this. You better train and you better practice. And I'm not talking about going out in the backyard and doing ninja rolls and pop up shooting in some unrealistic crap. Get with a professional. I am for carrying. I'm for bearing, bearing arms. I am. I am not for idiots carrying guns. I've been shot at. Okay? With deadly intent. Okay? Okay? I've never been in the military nor law enforcement. I hate to break that to you. It ain't fun. I've been cut and I've been stabbed. They both hurt. Yes, there's something there. Now let's get back to the video. This ain't about the tough guy thing. I'm just saying. I carry knives because I enjoy knives. And I have a damn knife channel. That's what we do here. Back to it. Now, I will carry one or the other on these. And we got way off track. Now, some people said, Scab, they couldn't believe how, how similar they are. Really, truly, honestly, guys, when you hear, when you hear like, Formax Scout or SR1 Light or whatever the case may be, Cold Steel called a Scout or a Light, it's the same dimensions, different materials. I love this knife. I love this knife. The Formax Scout, great knife. I love this knife the four max but like I said the other day one of the big reasons I don't carry this all the time is because th there's well over a thousand dollars in knives guys right there that's not bragging this was a gift it's not bragging it, it's blessed to have them that's a lot of money I'm not losing it Ain't doing it. Uh -uh. So, carry one or the other. Now, I carry this. This one has a lot of value sentimentally to me. Um, 
so I carry it a lot. If I don't carry this one, I carry this one. And I'll do a video one day on just pocket knives in general, how they carry, how they feel. I can tell y'all, I can put this in my pocket right here, just like that. It's got a little weight to it, but I'm telling y'all right now, it doesn't bother me. It does not bother me. Now, I, a lot of guys work in offices. A lot of guys work in, in California, New York. I know there are certain states. You can't walk out of the house with this. They'd, they'd, have, they'd fall over dead with a stroke. So you got to know your laws big time. Know your laws. Know what you carry. I like, and, and here's the truth, guys. I could carry both of these with ease. And it has nothing to do with personal size or, or strength or anything like that. They both conform well to the pocket. They both ride well in the pocket. They both pull out pretty easy because of their size. They're bigger. They come out. Bang. I love the snap of that knife. This one's one of my favorites. Listen. You just know it. And that's a big knife. I'll show you all again. Big blade. Big knife. Good in the hand. The Medford Praetorian T and S90V Captain Electro gave me this. Awesome, awesome, awesome knife. Well, guys, listen, we got another video coming out. I know this one ran a little long, but we had a lot of ground to cover. I got off on a little tangent there. And I'll say it again everybody's welcome here. Everybody's welcome to an opinion here. Okay? We are a knife channel. I carry a lot of knives. I, I don't have to explain that. I'm, I'm going to. I don't carry a gun because I'm afraid I would use it. And that's just based on... A lot of times when I say stuff, my my seventh great uncle was Patrick Henry. Yes, that Patrick Henry. Some of y'all need to look him up. Oh, who the hell that? Good job. Same guy, oh, get my gun for my cold dead fingers. I don't know shit about our history, but I can tell you that. Patrick Henry is the guy who said, give me liberty or give me death. When he started his speech, and I'm paraphrasing because I don't have it memorized, I'm going to, and I'm going to do a video on it. When he started his speech, he said, gentlemen, the only path, or the only light I have to guide, guide me down the path is the light of experience. And what he's saying is, he can, he, his knowledge was gained from experience. He's experienced things. So when I tell you stuff, guys, it's not to be a tough guy. It's not to look like Billy Badass. It's not to try to impress you. I'm telling you stuff from experience. And I've done a lot of dumb ass things. So if you don't learn anything else from Old Scab, please, some of the mistakes I've made, don't do them. And some of the times that I've just broken the law, don't do it. The poor choices, the bad choices, the wrong choices that I intentionally made, don't do it. Okay? Now, some of you are going to do what you're going to do. You just are. You just are. And I'm still, I love you, God bless you. But some of you got to learn the hard way. But... That's all I got for now. I'll probably come back. Well, I'm not probably that trade that Joe gave me. I'm definitely uh, going to release a video on it today. So, I haven't said that. I better shut up. Hey, y'all go hit Joe with Steel Forged and Fire. I, again, Arizona Bladesman is a good brother in the blade. He's got less than 100 subs. Let's, 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 let's build him up. Let's build this community up, guys. I'm going to put some links in the description below of some YouTubers. Go check them out to the Shredder, to Jed Hornby, and to Keith Carpenter. Thank you guys from the depths of my soul for donating to this raffle that's coming up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't thank you enough. Three outstanding, well, two outstanding men and an outstanding family. Jed's a good guy, good family man. Keith's a good family man. See, that's the thing. These all are all guys that are family men that are giving back. So it's three good family men. I was trying to say because I love the Shredder and their family. We know, we see all of the Shredder's family. 
Mama Shredder and the two girls and the dog. I love the damn dog. Well, guys, that's it. It's 20 minutes too long. I love y'all. God bless y'all. My boy Mikey, whom I love, says it best. Everything is going to be all right. Well, I'm scab. You're not. And I'm gone, son. I wish this would work one time.